Hi, I'm Marlana, and today I'm talking about two-year-olds and transitions. Ah, change is hard, and two-year-olds are notorious for rough transitions. It's not surprising when you think about it. They're beginning to realize they have some say in some things. They feel deeply about what they want or don't want. They have limited words to express themselves. Their idea of time of now and later is still pretty vague, and they simply haven't been around long enough to develop strategies for coping with frustration. So is it any wonder that they resort to things like bargaining or stalling or crying or those dreaded toddler meltdowns? Well, first of all, keep your expectations realistic. It's not until close to their fourth birthday, not their third, but their fourth birthday, that they're going to be able to manage transitions positively, most of the time with adult support. Managing transitions positively is an essential school-ready skill, but like all skills, it's developed over time and they need time to practice it. So here's how you can help your two-year-old learn some transition skills that they really will use successfully someday. When you're moving into a transition phase, start by saying their name. Make eye contact, get down on their their level if you can, and then speak calmly and confidently and clearly. Manage your own responses, stay calm, Showing your own stress and rush will not help. Routines and rituals will help your child predict what to expect, and that knowing what to expect will help them feel secure. Prepare your child in terms that have real meaning to them. Instead of saying, we have to leave in five minutes, you might say, we have five more trips down the slide, and then it's time to go, and then help them count those trips. Similarly, I used to prepare my own kids for a transition by saying something like, it's time to go and find your favorite last thing to do. That let them know it was their last thing and it gave them some autonomy, some choice, and some control in what was coming. You can add an element of fun. You could count backwards like a rocket ship blasting off. You can suggest a race or a competition if it doesn't make your little one feel more anxious. And children sometimes have more success if they have an object, a lovey that they can carry with them from point A to point B, whatever that transition might be. And then be sure and play some music when you can. That will shift focus away from the transition and keep things upbeat. Here's a song that's fun to sing and it might help your little one respond quickly and happily. Be sure to teach it and practice it at a time when you're not actually in a hurry. And the tune is The Farmer in the Dale. It goes like this, or this is the way I sing it. You can adapt it however you need. Um, So I chose to sing. We're putting on our shoes, we're putting on our shoes. No need to fuss or get the blues, we're putting on our shoes. And that's what I have for you today. Thanks for listening. It's time for me to go off to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. Because getting paid is such a perk. It's time to go to work. Goodbye.